Sometimes you will fall asleep while praying and then you will hear. The angels are singing Hosanna in the highs. The angels are singing. You will not hear any angel with spiritual unseriousness. No. Prayer and fasting. Please pray. I will not give you rules, but let me challenge you. If you are a serious Christian, this is my personal opinion. At least there should be a day once a week for you to fast. If that is too much, then forget about revival. Believe me. This is not a doctrine I'm giving you. There's no place like that in scripture. But I'm telling you, any, as if you are called into ministry, let me challenge you and, and, and admonish you by the message of God. Except you want to make mockery of yourself and make mockery of the name of the Lord through your life. There is a level of stamina. You have to trust God for grace to tame food. It is good to eat. I'm not one of these people that advocate people have died through carelessness and died the death of fools. That's not what I'm teaching you. You want to lay hands on the sick and see miracles? You want to speak the word of God and let it come with power? Man of God, pray. There are some of us who are young, we are just starting and already we are careless one month no prayer no fasting and i hope you know that fasting is not just a time where you abstain from food and sleep you are not fasting albeit that is important for your health but that is not fasting when there is no prayer what study and worship you did not fast let me repeat when there is no prayer what study and worship you did not fast no matter even if you do 48 hours 72 hours that was spent sleeping if there is no prayer word study and worship you did not fast so just because you slept by nine and woke up by four and slept back again and woke up quarter to five and already started arranging your food waiting for six on the dot of course God will honor you he's merciful but I am telling you that's not fasting And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Please give us verse 14. Luke 4 14. Let's hurry up. Luke 4 14 and Jesus returned in the power of the spirit in verse 1 he was driven by the spirit full of the spirit but the Bible does not mention power verse 14 haven't prayed and fasted even though with the spirit he returned in the power of the spirit into Galilee and the Bible says there went out a fame of him throughout all the region round about I believe in the ministry of fasting and prayer please submit yourself fasting is not for men of God fasting is not for those in trouble fasting is not for those that the doctors say they have diabetes or they have you know something that is wrong with them medically fasting is for all men I truly believe that prayer with fasting prayer with fasting prayer with fasting hallelujah if you are pregnant and you have children don't worry we'll fast for you our fasting will cover you and even children too can fast let me tell you don't over pamper your children until spirits enter them children can fast you can they can fast and end by 12 it does not kill them don't say my child is too small let him grow by the time he grows he already has do you think that it was a legion that entered the madman in Gadara in one day? They kept coming and calling themselves and said, this man is an available tool until they became a legion. 
encounter with the spirit of power number two the second platform I hope you got my arrangement that I'm giving you three biblical platforms for accessing power with God number one is through encounters encounter with the spirit of power and that there are two conditions you want to encounter the spirit of God with his power your heart condition and then the ministry of prayer and fasting 